Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look on our newly released feature of code preview into Power Apps, which can enable, which can help the developer's life to quite an extent where we want to create the new screen or copy paste the control or want to manage the code of our Power App screens in our source control or want, would like to share with the another or the other developers. So that's we are going to take a look today. I am going to open one of my existing application so that we can have a look like how code preview would help us in our developer context. So I have this my loan processing application open and if I click on these three dots, I would have one option view code which is in preview and that gives me the entire screen code into YAML which is also called as yet another markup language and Microsoft is using lately like for building out the effective data structures like instead of using JSON we can use the like YAMLs also it's having one particular structure which actually defines the parent nodes and it usually starts with the dash and then parent control and then nested child controls so as you can see we have this entire screen code into yaml and we can very well copy this code and save it in any other source control repository or share with any other developers and also you can quickly modify or the search things within inside this control so earlier what used to be there like we have to like uh, go to the all the control properties or traverse through all every all the controls to search for the specific property let's say if in screen container one i wish to uh, look at the records gallery then i would be having option either to uh, traverse through all these properties or i have to go to advanced to look at like what is being filled out what customization are being done at this level but now as we have this yaml code at the top level itself so in the main screen by clicking on view code preview code i can just search for the my ex, uh, desired property which i want to make any update so i can check for gallery so in gallery i can see like on select what it does is like it update the context to the selected item and search what it what it does is like it searches for that loan processing control with the input text field so i can quickly have a look on all the controls which my screen has in place so that's a like a better way of like managing or traversing or going through your code to understand and as well as like if i need to replicate this the same screen with the same theme into the new screens for example this is my loan processing screen and the other screen i want to show the cars catalog like uh, for for the loans are is being granted then i can simply create one new screen from blank and i can co either copy this entire mark the existing gallery this code and then paste it and then uh, i can use any id so for example i'm using this id which is view studio code i'll just select the language and we'll say yaml and over here i'll paste it so i have my this starting point of previous screen gallery where which i can modify change the data source which i would like to or i can actually take help of any ai tool and the pop, the most popular one chat gpt i would be just giving my requirement to chat gpt that i would like to create one more car screen and i just provide me the yaml of that car screen so that i can directly paste that so i can say i want to create a new power app screen which should show me the cars catalog with images and i need yaml code for it and if i just say like it will give me an extra yaml but it may not fit into this uh, whatever the formatting we are expecting so we'll just modify we'll just uh, train our chat gpt to give us a proper uh, yaml structure so over here you can see like it's giving something weak but i now i will just provide the existing gallery code so that it can understand that what i'm expecting i'll just copy this existing gallery code 
and we'll just say I need YAML code like this for car gallery. So I just paste my code and understand what I'm expecting. So right now you can see it's giving me some YAML code and which I can directly copy into my Visual Studio. So I'll just copy this page code and will paste this code into my Visual Studio. So I'll just over here, if I just go to the top, you will find that I got this screen too and which is having this container one and it also gave me this collection. So I'll just remove this collection because I want to have some collection at top of my as in apps data. So I'll just go back to my and in the app start, I'll just create one collection quickly for my all the cars to be listed. And on start, I will have this collection which shows me this car brand image and the image URL. So this I'm going to use and other than that, I will use my this copy code of this screen uh, container one, which this chat GPT generated for me. I'll just copy everything and will directly paste that to into my screen too. And I'll just say paste as in code. So in simple, we were able to generate this car gallery with the same thing which my previous screen is using, just providing the previous screen's code that format my this screen, the new screen in the same way as my previous screen looked like. So I have this container and probably this is a navigation menu which it has provided and I'll just correct this error. So this error is related to navigation. I'll just remove it for time being and I'll remove this one also. And right now if you see I have this gallery listed but the image hasn't come. So because I haven't mentioned that also include the image into my this gallery what quickly I can do I can actually find my this gallery item this item and over here I can create one more nested column for image and I will just paste it so you can see I am getting error because it's not properly aligned so in YAML it's important that we have this proper nested control alignment properly so that it can read it uh, in a verified validated way so I'll just now I'll just copy this screen container again and will delete my existing copied code and then we'll be good to go and delete this screen container again we'll paste as a new So now you can see I have started getting images and this is the previous error which related to navigation we can delete it. So within 30 seconds or one minute we were able to get this new screen ready with the same theme using chat GPT with the AI tool and also like by copy pasting this code which is a actually like a great feature for the developers who want to expedite their development, want to reduce their uh, time to find out, search for the property and then copy paste the property, renaming all that stuff is very advantageous I would say like uh, to maintain or to better control other code. So that is it for today's video. Thank you.